what a what a here we go again back with some more mystery case files prime suspects we last left off on level 14 james michael aka jimmy glitter he is lead guitarist of a rock band buttercream love me some buttercream <laughs> it's prior arrests noise pollution and trashing hotel rooms without a permit you gotta have a permit and trash those hotel rooms just make sure you, you got your proper paperwork before you go trashing things. Suspect is currently wanted on charges of animal endangerment involving a frog or a fog machine and a gerbil. Huh? Okay. Hobbies include roadie harassment, turning things <laughs> up to 11 and vomit snorkeling. Turning things up to 11 and vomit snorkeling. Is that a thing? If so, that's gross. Anyway, instructions. Search for clues around Capital City. When enough evidence is found, use the crime computer to see if this raunchy rocker is indeed a prime suspect. All right. 38 minutes to find 68 clues. All right. <laughs> hey, we can go to the carousel. I'm, st I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still kind of bothered by the vomit snorkeling. I just have, I have very, very bad visual going on. My stomach's not feeling all that, that great either. There's a key. Straight razor. Bison. Is it a flying bison? Appa! We're looking for Appa. Artichoke. A few release. The artichoke necktie. I feel like I should know where that necktie is. There it is. Uh, a shark. The shark's down here. Uh, the bison and the razor. Papa. Anybody have a bison whistle? There's a razor. Hmm. That's not a bison. That's a possum. That's a rhinoceros. Um. That's. Okay, whatever. Let's go to produce stand. I'm looking for a button right there. An old key, as opposed to a new key. It's a new key. Shut that key up. A loaf of bread. An army helmet. I'm not like up here somewhere. No, that's an old football helmet. I thought it was up here somewhere. That could be 30 kinds of wrong, too. So, that's what I get for thinking, I suppose. Oh, that's a mallet. Anyway, a fire alarm. Right there, a padlock. Right there, a cinnamon roll. Um, cinnamon roll. Where is this cinnamon roll? That there, yeah, with the peaches. Uh, caramel apples, right there. Army helmet and an old, old key. Here's the old key. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your helmet on. Go play. Or however it goes. I don't particularly like hitting myself in the mouth. So I get it wrong occasionally. Army helmet. Keep wanting to click on the turtle. No, no, that's not it. And the bowling ball. We'll have to come back to it. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Let's go to uh, Mingo's Playhouse with the two triangle and lion's head. Um, there's a lion's head. Cannonballs right there. Carrot. On a stool. A notebook. 
Death Note right over here. Mm -hmm. Yin Yang. I feel like I've seen that a lot. Like, all up in the world. And of course now I, I can't find it. That's, that's just how that goes. That is how that goes. All the time. A beetle and a hair pick. That's a fork, not a hair pick. Supposed to be finding two triangles too, right? Yeah. Two triangles, hair pick. Yin yang. Alright, that's comb, but we'll go with hair pick. Um, two triangles. There's a triangle. The other one, yeah, right here. Looks like a metal instrument triangle. Beetle and a yin yang. There's a beetle on the sweet roll. Whatever you want to call that. Looks like a zinger. Mixed with a um, little Debbie strawberry shortcake roll. Uh, yin yang. I swear I've seen it like a thousand and two times. Is it over here? I have a feeling it's like a purplish color. But we all know that my feelings are more often than not wrong. You see it, don't you? Don't laugh at me. Don't call me those names. It's not nice. Mm. Felt like I was doing so well. Really unfortunate. All right, we'll continue on. Come back. Curiosity shop. Plumber's aid. <laughs> A plunger. That's kind of occupationalist. Watch it not be a plunger, and I feel stupid. Well, I feel stupid half the time. So nothing new there. Seahorse shoehorn. open book it is there's the cat up there chilling there's the shoehorn group of trees here and then I remember these were in the line and I was complaining about how they're not a group how they're in the line all right a seahorse what am I a seahorse seashell captain there he is Actually, I think they're asexual. They don't have genders. I could be wrong about that too. I'm not a seahorse specialist or anything. Hmm. Plumber's aid. Plunger. All right. To the rooftop. <laughs> I wanted to say uncle number. <laughs> Unlucky number. I guess we're looking for 13 again. Uh -huh. Yeah, when I was looking for that calculator a while back, I was thinking of this place. Uh, snake banana plane. I'm a snake. Where is the snake? There's a snake. Pig is flying. And. Three bees. Uh, there was one there. There's one here. And I thought there was like one in this area. Yep. There 
guys. Banana. It's banana. B A N A N A. Unlucky number in a pit. This might prove to be a little difficult. Can you hear me whispering? Whispering in your ear. Sorry, I'm all up on a microphone looking close and I couldn't resist. Assuming we're looking for 13. I could be wrong. Oh, no. See how small that is? I'm shocked that I found it, to be honest with you. And a pen. Is that a pen? There's a pencil. They're in the living room watching live PD. Is that a pen? Yes. They're in the living room watching uh, live PD and <laughs> sirens sound. Uh, mixed between my headphones and that makes it sound like it's outside coming down the street and I'm all, <gasps> oh no. Not really, I don't really care, but you know. It's that feeling you get when you hear police, that's all. If you're one of those people that have those feelings. There are some people who don't have those feelings. What feelings am I talking about? The feeling you get when you hear police. Well, <laughs> Target. Welcome to ta -ta 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 Target. Uh, seashells. The scythe was there. Eyeball and a drill. There's a drill. I vaguely remember his eyeball. Uh, those don't count, even though they're eyeballs. There it is. The seashell. Target. It's on his cheek. The seashell. It's there. Good show sure, chap. Let's go to the city park and look for a hot eye and a frag. Pack the kind and have it yet. Alright. There's a frog. Hey, that's a book. That's a whole lot of books. It didn't specify what kind of book. I clicked on a book. We have it. A fan and a flying bird. I guess that counts as a flying bird even though it's on the ground. A hot dog. A sweet roll. What? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll? I used to be an adventurer like you until I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> uh, book? I already clicked on that, but it's a book. I guess they mean his book. And a fan. There's a fan and a heart chilling over there on the ground. All right, carousel. Yay! A femur. I've broken my femur. Yes, I have. It was not fun. It was not fun at all. When people ask, how in the world did you break your femur? Because, you know, I played football. Didn't break it playing football. In fact, I broke it when I was like four. Maybe even three. No, I was four. I was four. Toy kangaroo and a lion. I, uh, I broke my femur running down a hill. Just so happened to step just right and, uh, tricklack. You want to talk about some pain, buddy? I still remember that pain to this day. That was some pain. If you've ever broken your femur, you know what kind of pain I'm talking about. If you have not, sorry, you don't know. I've broken other bones, I've broken my hands, I've broken my wrist, I've broken my arm. None compare. Hell, 
at the age of five, I was ran over by a car, like literally ran over my abdomen. Made me crap myself and everything. Did not hurt nearly as bad as breaking my femur. No, it didn't. Oh, and to make the story even more interesting, I'm not trying to boast myself or anything. All this is true. Um, a week before, I had to go in, and they gave me they gave me a half body cast. So imagine a four year old and a half body cast not being able to do anything. An active four year old at that. I, I grew up playing sports, so I was active. And I had to sit with a half body cast on. Could not move my legs. Couldn't couldn't even poop and pee the way I wanted to. A week before the cast was, I was supposed to go in and have it removed. I broke it off. And, uh... Um... I remember walking down the hallway. Crying. Because of how bad it hurt. With my, uh... Muscles being, uh... Partially atrophied. But yeah, I broke it off and walked myself down the hallway. Crying. And it didn't stop walking. It's just crying. Alright, sorry, I was I wasn't even looking for anything. I was I literally went back to that memory and was Wow. That was a lot of pain. <laughs> that was a lot of pain. For a four-year-old. And uh, thinking about the uh, the car running over me too. I was um, had a little skateboard. And I was in the parking lot. I was staying in an apartment complex at the time. Had a little. They were in like a U shape, and they had to you know you drove into the parking lot where all the apartments were. <clears throat> and um, I was on a skateboard, and I wanted to hold on to the back of the car like I saw on TV. <laughs> and the car decided to back up. Ran me right over. Pooped on myself. He picked me up and took me in the house. My mom came home. Um, I remember laying on the couch on some newspaper because I had uh, crapped myself. And apparently this guy didn't have children and did not know how to handle a child. Poop in his pants. So he laid down newspaper like a freaking dog and laid me on the couch until my mom got home. But I remember laying there watching American Gladiators. Being all poopy. <laughs> uh, don't remember what happened after that. Don't remember what happened after that. I might have went into shock or just don't remember because I have a bad memory. Mom says she took me to the hospital. I don't. Really, I don't remember that particular visit. So, no, I'm not saying she's lying. Not by no means. I just don't remember. Oh. Good times, good times. Film real. <laughs> Film real and a compass. Oh man. Hey, now you know a little bit about La Bomba de la Panda. <laughs> Panda bomb. Alright. I wasted a lot of time just now. That's a compass. <laughs> I wasted a whole lot of time just now. Wow. How long about that? I've been sitting here for a minute just yapping away. I'm sorry. Not really. I mean, you can skip ahead if you don't want to hear me talking. Um, I'm looking for a film reel. Oh, I got hints. I'll use it. Oh, that's that's beat up. I would have I would have never found that. Well, I'm not gonna say never. It's very possible that I would have. But yeah, you got any interesting stories you want to share with me? Throw them down in the comments. Let us all know. Ah, different perspective of the pirate. Uh, where was that house at? There it was. And that was there. Yeah. Harder. Mm, that 
bucks on a rainbow dollar. Whoa, there's a few of them. Wait, yeah. What's this puzzle piece? That was... Oh, it was right. Oh man, I'm all kinds of messed about. Trying to think of things to uh, fill the silence, but there is no, there really isn't any silence because uh, the game has sound. But um, yeah, if you have any interesting stories to share, please do. I'd love to hear. Would love to hear from you. I really would. So I think it's interesting to find out what folks have been through. Looks like old James Michael, aka Jimmy Glitter, was innocent. So I guess we need to move on. And it will be on to Paris Hilton. Next time on Mystery Case Files, Prime Suspects. Until then, deuces gooses.